Hey everybody, it's Nick here again, and I'm uh, joined by Saba Mafi here at Network Funding. If you watched our first video, we talked about uh, the process of buying a home, uh, specifically for first time home buyers, because it's a stressful process. So make sure that you check out that video uh, from last week. Uh, so this week, we're gonna be talking about the different types of loan products and mortgages that are available. A common misconception is that you have to have 20% to put down in order to be able to purchase a home. That is completely false. We've got programs to where you can put as little as three to five percent down even on a conventional loan as little as three percent down wow. yeah um, to, to get into a home one uh, very yeah. unique program to us here at network funding is going to be our lender paid mortgage insurance option a lot of times people put down 20 percent because they want to avoid having to pay mortgage insurance right mortgage insurance only protects yeah. the bank in case the borrower forecloses on the property with our lender paid mortgage insurance option you can put as little as five percent down get the same benefits as if you were to put down 20% not have any mortgage insurance and it'll yield the lowest payment. I'm sure that there's people watching who would think there's no way, they're scamming you in some way, they're just trying to take money in another way. Right. How is that possible? It is in exchange for a slightly higher interest rate, but there is no mortgage insurance. Your MI is completely removed. Being a homeowner, you get tax breaks. So, for instance, interest, okay, is something as a homeowner that you can get a tax break on. All right, so again, you're ahead of the game, you're winning if you're looking to get the lowest payment, bring little cash to close, and purchase you know, your dream home. That's only one of the pro programs that we okay. do have. We do have you know an FHA loan which is yeah. common amongst a lot of first-time home buyers where you can put as little as three and a half percent down it allows for a lower end credit profile a really high DTI so you we can go up to you know even 57 percent DTI being debt, debt to, to income. income okay right you got it so debt to income ratio first-time home buyers may have just recently got out of school they do have a you know throw in a couple student loans in there and it does push up the debt to income ratio but again this program does allow you to qualify and move in with very low cash to close low interest straight and um, low monthly payments so it's a great program for first-time buyers with all of this information out there it can feel like you need to have figured all of this out but when we partner with somebody like Saba she's available to answer those questions and at the end of the day she wants to help you like I want to help you and that's why we work with her we've seen it all we, we we consider ourselves mortgage strategists really when you're closing on a property the reason why it's such a big deal is because it's a huge accomplishment it's not easy we just make it look pretty yeah. right uh, we, we really just do all the work for you behind the scenes so that you can just coast all the way through. If you're interested in buying a home in 2019, uh, we would love to partner with you to help make that dream a possibility and a reality. We'll see you on the next video. Thank you.